so here's what I've got for you. I don't know. I can't really make this any bigger for a whole bunch of stupid reasons that have to do with Chrome. But I'll I'll read them. I'll read Dude, them. this porn light makes everything. Yeah, just let let me we'll read it, okay? You just you just sit you just sit in your nice little chair. Uh Lilia Liala Wild says at Drex. So this is right to you. Uh oh. Man, there were some racist comments on the live stream. I thought I saw you catch a couple and do a wow face, but may have imagined it. Pretty eye opening as to the audience. Okay. What well, and this was during the the Chris Chan stuff? During, yeah, during the Chris Chan. Now, here's the follow-up comment from her. Hmm, you lost me with the attitude towards women, though. That shit is what keeps us single and raising our kids alone. Oh, she, she's a single mom. So I'm, I'm immediately smiling as I'm reading these comments. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> this person says, welcome to the actual internet. Uh, and then she responds, meaning. And I said... If you think Drex is going to be on board with this, I encourage you to watch any other episode with Drex. Because <laughs> you, you know what I want to do? I want her to go explore the depths of Drexology. Yeah. That's because that's the only, that's the cure for this. Well, well, I'm glad you brought that up because before I let my girl take my phone that we still got to you know, find her phone somewhere in here. Yeah. Um, Nick. Before I got, I gave her my phone to listen to the like the last forty five minutes on our way here tonight, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I was listening to? Something you would truly appreciate, and I'm sure a lot of you in the audience would truly appreciate. Uh, one of the biggest YouTubers who has blown up in the past year, his name is one Kevin Samuels, right? He's like the dating, uh, you know, image consultant guy. He's a, he's a meme by the, at this point, right? Yeah. Like your average at best. He has he he lifted a a phrase from Game of Thrones, right? And he's telling all these 304s, hey, ladies, knock, knock, winter is coming. Because, <laughs> Nick, with, with the rent moratorium up, with the student loan debts not getting paid, with a lot of, a lot of women that have racked up some consumer debt during the lockdowns and putting shit on layaways, Nick, it's over. I know you're not in that space, but I'm, I'm telling you, Nick, take my word for it. There are a lot of videos out there, Nick. These hoes are out here chameleon their way back into a man's pockets. Men, we miss you. We want to help build. We we love you. We appreciate you. Nick. Bitch, where was this pre-pandemic? Yep. And, now, Nick, Nick, you're a married man. You're out in the country. But I promise you, come to the cities. Nah, I'm good. Come to the cities, Nick. <laughs> and, and, and walk I around. And, I don't want to smell the desperation. <laughs> it's. These hoes are desperate. Nick, they got she has some more comments, though. Oh, what, what is that? What is that? I'm, I'm going to look at this chick's name up because you guys got to look her ass up because she's pure ratchet. So she's responding. She, she says, it's weird how far off you are with this. I agree. Racism is natural. I'm huh? an anthropologist. And there is always a natural suspicion of the other and us them boundaries drawn. I still think it's damned rude to put racist comments in a live stream. In these comments, there's been a lot of massive assumptions that made that are way off the mark. So I'm going to assume there is a reflexive defensiveness about anyone who mentions racism or is female and speaks from that place. Wait, wait hold on. Wait, where is she? You know, I love I love how these people talk, by the way. Who speaks from that place. Stop. Stop. Well, first of all, hold on, hold on. What racism is she referring to during? Okay, so we're talking about Chris Chan. talking about the chats, like the, the live chat. I didn't see, I don't remember seeing anything that was red. Did you? Uh, hold on. Let me answer this two ways. Did I? No. Are there racist comments that come through on a live chat on the internet? Yes. Yep. All of them. Oh, well. Yeah, exactly. Oh, well. Who cares? You know what? Even the people who are, who are putting racist comments, Nick, I love them too. Because who cares? Because who cares? Uh, so she says, let's see. Uh, that level of rude projecting insult level response is surprising because maybe I was expecting a little more nuance than the same knee jerk abuse and hyperbole you get from the trash and their like malesh. I don't know what malesh means. Hmm. Uh, and then she says, I replied to this yesterday asking for a recommendation for a particular video because I'm opening open to hearing it would be interested somehow deleted or maybe just buried in the decidedly non nuanced pile on of comments calling me a Karen and implying I'm stupid whore for being a single mom. <laughs> I mean, she is though. So look, 
<laughs> we we need to we need to start calling people what they are, right? So oh my God. So so Nick, you're you're in prison. And someone goes, Hey, what are you in prison for, man? Murder. Damn. I mean, what was it over? And someone's like, he looked at me wrong. You're like, so so someone looked at you wrong, which is a, your purely your perception, right? Yeah. So you act a dude. And uh, you're mad that someone's calling you a murderer. Like, but that's what you are. You see what I'm saying? If, if you're a single mom and you're a Karen, listen, your life is over. Kevin Samuels is look, this Lee chick is gonna be on Kevin Samuels asking how she can get a high value man. And if you guys have seen how sa- he's savage on these bitches, Nick. Yeah. I know you've heard, right? <laughs> yeah, he's savage on them. Because Nick, a lot of these women have lived in a delusional world where they were never held accountable. They were Nick, there was a woman on there with four kids by three men. And was 270 pounds. And Kevin Samuel said he, she looked like a goddamn linebacker. Right? Have you seen the, uh, the women sprinter from Nigeria who has hypoandro- hyperandrogenism? And did you see the, the based Polish sprinter who's like, we need to investigate her to see if she's a real woman. He's not competing against her. But you know what he said? Direct. She beat the brakes off of his personal best from when he was 18. And he's like, she's going to keep getting better. And we can't keep pretending that this is fair to the women it, it competitors. Is fair. It is fair. <laughs> um, as you know, I am a strong advocate for the trans community as a trans person myself. They, we don't even know if this person, this person's allegedly a biological female yeah, yeah, just, with a hormone disorder that basically pumps her body full of testosterone. Doesn't matter. When you see uh, her, Gender is a social construct. I'm going to pull it She's up. She's stunning and brave. We're going to pull She's it up. She's stunning and brave. I just want to put this out though. Uh, Leal, so this guy replies to her and says, complaining, backhanded comments, guilt trips, a sense of superiority. Sounds like a Karen. Mm-hmm. She says, okay, incel. <laughs> that's, that's all we got. So uh, she keeps, uh, she keeps replying. I mean, she just, she, keeps she loves the attention. She loves it. She's a woman. This is what, this is what they do. <laughs> this is what they do. Especially single mom. Dude, Nick, you know, what's funny. So have you ever like actually like really spent any kind of time around a single mom? And here's what ends up happening. So in one hand, like, you know, the social media hand, they brag about how strong and uh, courageous and amazing they are as a single mom. Right. Yeah. But as soon as someone calls them out, you see how fragile they are. And then they come, here comes the shaming language. Oh, let me see that creature. 